A few months ago, astronomers detected a Bonalfide space-time speedster in outer space, giving experts a new mystery to solve. Named Quise J11249 plus 3621, this small yet incredibly fast star races through the Milky Way at a breakneck speed of 1.6 million kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, its origins, the source of its extraordinary speed, and even its exact nature remain unknown. The cosmic world is always in motion, and our sun is no exception, traveling at 107,000 kilometers per hour, or 30 times the speed of a bullet. However, in astronomical terms, this is rather slow compared to certain celestial bodies, such as hyper-fast runners, which move at speeds between 300 and 1,000 kilometers per second, fast enough to escape the Milky Way's gravitational pull. Hundreds of these stellar speed demons have been identified, usually as blue giants, binary stars, or supernova remnants. Additionally, about 30% of them are suspected of having an extragalactic origin. The prevailing theory suggests that most hyperfast stars gain their extreme velocity through cosmic catastrophes, such as being ejected from their original binary system or narrowly avoiding a black hole. However, the newly identified hyperfast runner, Quise J11249 plus 3621, is puzzling in many ways. It was discovered unexpectedly through the Citizen Science Project Backyard Worlds, Planet 9, which searches for brown dwarfs and the hypothetical ninth planet. Three amateur astronomers noticed a faint object moving at an astonishing rate in infrared images taken by the Wise Space Telescope. A team led by Adam Bergeser from the University of California, San Diego, used the Keck 2 telescope in Hawaii to analyze it further. Their findings confirm that this stellar speedster is moving at approximately 524 kilometers per second, or 1.6 million kilometers per hour, fast enough to potentially escape our galaxy. Aside from its speed, Quise J11249 plus 3621 drew attention due to its proximity to the solar system, just 400 light years away, making it the closest known hyperfast runner to Earth. Among stars within 650 light years of the Sun, less than 0.002% exhibit comparable tangential velocities. Additionally, its trajectory is unusual, heading toward the Milky Way center, where it will pass within 3,000 light years before ultimately flying out of the galaxy. Whether it will completely escape or settle into an eccentric orbit lasting 3 billion years remains uncertain with only 15% of simulations predicting its full departure. Another peculiar trait of this star is its size. Spectrographic studies show that it weighs just 0.083 solar masses, making it unusually small compared to other hyperfast runners, which typically range between 3 and 8 solar masses. It is only slightly above the minimum mass required to sustain hydrogen fusion leading experts to believe it may be either a faint subdwarf or brown dwarf, a failed star that occupies a unique space between stars and planets. Furthermore, its composition is notably metal-poor, containing very few elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, which suggests that it could be an ancient celestial body, possibly dating back to the first generation of stars in the Milky Way. But what exactly propelled this tiny Methuselah dwarf to such high speeds? One theory suggests it was once part of a binary system with a white dwarf that later exploded in a supernova, giving it an additional speed boost. Another possibility is that it was ejected from a globular cluster due to interactions with black holes or other stars. However, no known globular cluster aligns with its reconstructed flight path leaving its origins a mystery. A third possibility is that it had a close encounter with Sagittarius A asterisk, the supermassive black hole at the Milky Way center, and was thrown off its original orbit. Further physical and atmospheric analyses are necessary to determine its true history, as each of these scenarios should have left distinct chemical traces in its gas envelope. 
Identifying these chemical fingerprints would be a major step towards solving the mystery of this stellar speedster. Interestingly, while Kwai's J11249 plus 3621 is incredibly fast, it is not the fastest star known in the Milky Way. That title belongs to S4711, discovered in 2020, which orbits the galaxy's central black hole at a staggering 86 million kilometers per hour, about 8% of the speed of light. It takes only 7.6 years to complete one orbit around the black hole, and its speed peaks in the immediate vicinity of this gravitational monster. This record-breaking star may belong to a theoretical class known as squeezes, which are heated by tidal forces as they approach a black hole and cool down as they move away. The presence of such stars near Sagittarius A asterisk is intriguing because the intense tidal forces should prevent star formation in this region. Experts believe they were originally part of binary systems that were disrupted by the black hole, with one star being captured while the other was flung out into the galaxy as a hyper-fast runner. As astronomers continue to study these cosmic speedsters, they hope to uncover more about the forces that shape our galaxy and the extreme events that propel stars to such astonishing speeds. The discovery of Kwai's J11249 plus 3621 and other hyper-far stars opens up new avenues for understanding the dynamics of our galaxy and the powerful forces at play within it. While we are still unraveling the mystery of how such stars attain their breakneck speeds, their existence challenges long-held assumptions about stellar motion and galactic structure. One of the key questions that remains is whether Kwai's J11249 plus 3621 truly originated within the Milky Way, or if it might have an extragalactic origin. Given its peculiar properties, its metal-poor composition, unusual trajectory, and small size, Scientists cannot rule out the possibility that it came from a different galaxy, possibly ejected by a violent gravitational interaction. If so, it would join the ranks of other suspected intergalactic stars that have entered the Milky Way from elsewhere, providing valuable insights into the exchanges of stellar material between galaxies. Further studies of Kwai's J11249 plus 3621 may also shed light on the early history of the Milky Way itself. If it indeed belongs to the first generation of stars formed in our galaxy, it could offer a ray glimpse into the conditions that existed billions of years ago when the Milky Way was still taking shape. Its chemical composition and physical properties might help astronomers refine models of early star formation and understand how ancient stellar populations evolved over cosmic time. In addition, this discovery fuels ongoing efforts to refine our methods of detecting and tracking hyperfast stars. The fact that Kwai's J11249 plus 3621 was found through a citizen science project highlights the potential of engaging amateur astronomers in scientific research. With advancements in observational technology and increasing public participation, more such stellar speedsters are likely to be identified in the near future, each with its own story to tell. While astronomers continue their investigations, Kwai's J11249 plus 3621 serves as a reminder of how much we have yet to learn about the cosmos. Whether it is a relic of the Milky Way's early days, a survivor of a dramatic supernova explosion, or a visitor from another galaxy, its journey challenges us to look deeper into the forces that shape our universe. The answers may still be elusive. But each discovery brings us closer to understanding the true nature of our ever-moving, ever-evolving galaxy.